Hello, everybody. This is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. A message about your boss. What does your boss think of you? What does your boss think of you? Let's break up some message here for the collector today. This is a timeless message. What does your boss think of you? What do they think about you? Your work performance? What do they think of you? Just breathe. Uh, we have love abound and we have choose your battles. Choose your battles. There could be some opposition. Okay. Um, we got listen. Well deserved reward. Giving and receiving. Uh, we have opening up. Coming together. Coming together. Like they want to to train you. They want to um, kind of like they see you as being a leader. They see you as really standing up for the fight, I mean, for the coming good. Um, you listen very well. You have a conversation with him or her. The number 11 may resonate with you. 29 may resonate with you. 64, 47, 74, uh, 46, 92 could be the year you graduate from high school. Um, so what I see here is a lot of giving, a lot of giving and a lot of receiving, talking with each other, like having meetings and stuff, being the person they, they see you as being a leader. All right. And I feel like they know in their mind that you are the one for, for something higher, a higher paying position, being the person in charge. This is a well-deserved reward. They love watching you work. They love watching you do what you do, what you're paid to do that. And then some, sometimes you get into a little tiffs with people just breathe. Sometimes you kind of like take it and run with it. All right. And um, they just want you to slow down, slow down, listen, slow down and listen. I just want you to listen though. You are a good listener. Sometimes when you, when you go and do your thing, you don't, it's like you have tunnel vision. You just do it. You don't really pay attention to what anybody is saying because you're focused on your work. You're fo focused on doing something, you know what they pay you for. But I feel like they are definitely looking at you, watching you saying, Wow, this person does a good job. I can really, really trust on this person. Trust that this, this person will do the right thing. So they're looking at you. They're looking at placing you in a higher role, a higher position, but they're wanting to watch how you interact around others. And I feel like they have been <clears throat> watching how you interact, interact around others because they're seeing how you will react to with them not getting involved with situations, with certain things that's falling on your lap. Or maybe you're taking it upon yourself to do some things and they're seeing that. Wow. Okay. That person did a good job. You did a good job. They handled the situation, the argument with precision, the way I would have handled it. I see that that you're that you are choosing your battles, choosing your battles wisely. You know what it what, what it was or what it is that you come there to do, and they see that you give this equal give and take energy about yourself. They see that. I don't feel like you talk too much on your job. You just focus at you focus on the job at hand. But they know that they can trust you, and they know that that they can put you in control when they're not there. They can put you in a leadership role, and they can they are trusting themselves that you can do the right thing. All right, they know in their head they're very highly evolved in their intuition and in the spiritual realm. They know in their heart they have a gut instinct that you're the person that can lead. OK, that you're the person that can control the environment and they realize like, wow, I can put Virgo. I'm sorry. I can put the collective. Whoever you are could be a Virgo and in the position here to where I don't have to worry about it when I leave, when I go on vacation or whatever I have here. Refusing to see to see, um, you don't think very much of yourself in the, in, in the way uh, and like you don't think that you could be a leader. You don't feel that their energy is in you, but they do. You refuse to see how great you truly are, but they see it. And they're going to help you see it. They're going to help you find your true calling, your true self. All right. They know that you have the capabilities. You know you have the capabilities, but you never tap into the energy. Okay. What does your boss see for your future? Oh, this part's falling on the floor. Okay, these cards fell on the floor. I have the Empress, the Four of Wands, the Moon card, and I have the 
queen of cups. This person is, is a leader. They're in charge. And you, I feel like they really want to put you in a spot to, to be the boss. Emperor or empress. This could be a female watching you. This could be a male boss watching you. Take it how it resonates. They're trying to find somebody who is stable enough and responsible enough to handle this position. All right. They're watching and you don't know that they're watching. That's the thing. They're watching to see what you're going to do when when shit gets hard, when times get rough. How are you going to handle this? They're watching. They watched other people in the past and they just didn't they just didn't measure up. But when they watch you, they see how good. Oh, yeah, I see. We got a we have a reward for you. We have a, a, a new beginning for you. We have something special planned for you. We're going to raise your pay. We're going to give you an uptake in pay. We're going to put you in charge. OK. It's like you're going to be a leader, a leader under them or the third person in charge, okay? Because they feel like they can really count on you. What does your boss see for you coming at your workplace? What's coming for you at your workplace? We got the tower. I feel like the tower with the tower being in reverse, there is a lot of energy around around your company. They're reorganizing some things. They're letting some people go. I feel like, uh, and you're going to help this. You're going to help conquer whatever's going on here and you have and you just haven't seen it or you haven't realized it you have been a strength to this person you to this company this person and i feel like you take a lot of load off this person because there's a lot of stuff that you see that that uh you don't say anything about but you just do it's like you it's like almost as if you overcompensate for what somebody else is not doing but that's good in your favor you can handle struggles very very well you can take the lead and not even be asked to you find you you help find stability in situations i'm hearing in organic situations in situations that blow apart uh it's maybe somebody quit maybe they took off maybe they just, they just said whatever you're fired and all of a sudden you get in and, and you do you do the work you do the work and you don't realize your strength of character and who you truly are and how much you do, uh, it stands out. You stand out. You really do. There has been a lot of, of exchanges of negativity here, of stagnation. And, and I feel like they're going to reach out to you because they like what it is that you do. They really, really do. They feel like they can trust you. They feel like you can partner up and make the, uh, the company, the organization, um, or wherever it is you're doing there, make it so much more better. It's, it's going to be a great exchange for you. So somebody's going to leave or get fired or move on. And I feel like before then, you possibly heard that this person was going to retire, move on, quit or whatever. But what you didn't hear was the fact that they were thinking about putting somebody in charge. This person has went through a lot and they're tired. They're ready to go. They're ready to leave. This person may get fired. They may they, they just may say, forget it. I quit. I'm giving my two week notice. I'm dumped. They got to find somebody for that spot. And I feel like the, the work that they are doing, who they are talking about behind the scenes is you. What does your boss have planned for you? They think very highly of you. What do they have planned for you? What does your boss have planned for you? Collective. What does your boss have planned for you? Explore the spaces of you. Find amazing things you never knew existed. You never knew that these people were watching you on this job. <clears throat> we have here let go, of, uh, let go of what ails you. Become whole again. So let go, what let letting go of what ails you. I feel like they're letting somebody go, releasing that person. That person's gone to another job or retiring. They're moving on from that person. I feel like they're going to put you in that position. See the light. Step out so we can see you shine. Out of all the people that work there in your environment, wherever it is you work, it's like, like I told you, it's going to be three. You're going to be in the middle. They're going to depend on you a lot to back them up, which you, you, you've already been doing this. I just saw 929. Maybe that's your birthday. Um, I feel like you've already seen, they've already seen what you can do, but you don't realize just how powerful you are, how much of a powerful locomotive that you are. OK, you got this job. You got this. this you're you're going to get this promotion. Love, peace and prosperity. The three elements of living well. I told you you're going to be doing this. You're going to be doing this a group of, with a group of three, but they're going to put you in the lead. 
because they're doing other things in the company or other things in, in your job or whatever, your environment and your department, but they're putting you in charge because they know you can do this. And, and you know, it's, it's going to be a beautiful connection that you're connecting with these people, talking to these people, all of the chakras lining up perfectly, having the same mindset to do what needs to be done. They're going to bring you prosperity. <laughs> you're getting a raise. You're getting a promotion. You know that you can do this. They know that you can do this, but you got to believe in yourself. I bet you, you never thought in a thousand years that you would be a manager or, or a producer or that you would be in charge of a group of people, of a, of a department. You never thought so, did you? But here we are. You are love, no matter what has happened. You've come over so many different things. You've been through so much in your life and on this job, but they see you. Okay, you are the master of what you perceive. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see this coming. You are so focused on doing the job and doing it right the first time, you didn't know that you were being watched. Okay, for a lead role that you were that they were prepping you for a lead role that they were watching you to see how you will handle situations behind the scenes, and you did quite well. Okay, you did quite well. Wishes do come true. Simply trust that your wishes has been heard. Your wishes have been heard. You wanted more money? Here you go. You wanted a new job? Here you go. You want to show that S inside your, your your chest like Superman did, like, boom, you're the Superman or the Superwoman. Here you go. A new position, a new role, more money. Something that you've been worried about, your finances, that's about to change. Shield O programming, you are the expression of something wonderful. Be free of control. Make ease, make daily choices guided by your higher self. How can I open up to these people? How can I open up to my environment? I'm trying to pay attention. I'm trying to do what I what I've been meant to do. You've been holding on so much to to wanting that peace of mind and not wanting to necessarily make friends at work, staying focused on what they paid you for. That you're so focused and so strong beyond your years and what it is that you do that you didn't see that you were a powerful leader, but they did. You are the expression of something wonderful. When they see you, they see trust. When they see you, they see leadership. They see the perfect person for this role, this new position that's coming up, that's coming open. It's going to be yours. Your boss knows, knows that you can be a leader. Do, do you realize how much of a leader you can be? It's time to step into that leadership position because you deserve it. 